Satellite shows a weak disturbance moving across parts of Idaho, western portions of Montana. And it looks like this is going to be brush by, just a brush by, just a little bit of precipitation across northern Utah. Beautiful outside. You can see those high clouds from Snowbird at Hidden Peak and the snow starting to melt away. Now remember, if you're near any of the rivers right now, especially those that drain out of the Cottonwood Canyons or some of the higher Uintas where the snow is still packed in there, you'll want to watch your kids and watch all of your uh, pets. Make sure that they stay away from the water. It's still very cold. It's moving fast. Yes, we're in a drought year, but unfortunately, uh, this is the time of the year. We have to be very, very careful around the water. Okay, beautiful view up in Bear Lake. We're seeing some clouds there, as well as on the old mill camera. Beautiful green right now. But the heat coming in this week is going to start to dry the cheat grass and all of the, the green grass. It's going to turn kind of brown, and that will definitely bring in a threat for wildfires. You've got to be conscious of that. This is a big change. Southern Utah, you've seen a little bit of it. Now northern Utah will with 80 degrees outside in Salt Lake City. Right now 92 in St. George with a northwest wind at 5 miles per hour. Okay, it's good to wash the car the next few days. No storminess expected, but temperatures, they're hot. 80 right now in Salt Lake and Price. 76 in Ashley Valley around Vernal. 69 in Evanston. And over towards Elko, it is 74. Ely is now 80. Watch the jet stream as it brings in bits and pieces of clouds across the northern part of the state. Now by Friday, gusty winds southwestern Utah into Saturday. Those winds pick up in intensity. And here comes a storm system, my friends. Gusty winds and hot temperatures both Saturday and Sunday. The heat probably the most on Saturday. And then Monday, here comes a storm system. It'll come in with a couple of showers, some thunder showers, and it will be much, much cooler as we head into the uh, future, okay? Then uh, we trail in next week with another ridge of high pressure. We'll talk about another heat wave next week. Sorry about that. Okay, Salt Lake City, 80 today. So pardon me, it's 80 right now, 90 for the high today. And over the rest of the state, 80s and 90s to low 100. St. George, your high temperatures, 103, 104, 105, 106. And then a little cooler Monday and Tuesday with the Wasatch Front coming in with a high of 90 today with 92 Thursday, 95 on Friday. 100 on Saturday, oh my goodness, the heat is on. That'll break the record set in 1996 of 98. We'll cool just a smidge Sunday, that's because the winds will blow, the clouds will start to come in, and then Monday, chance for showers and thunder showers and temperatures dropping by 28 degrees from that Saturday high temperature of 100, which you, wow. you, you said I was standing in front of it last time, so I'm just gonna stay right there so you can see that 100 Saturday. So we can dwell on the, on the worst thing. Yeah. <laughs>